Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 29 of our Trapped MC Prison Series. We're back in the mines, and uh, yeah, there's only, let's see, 39 people on right now. It's kind of a dead time of day because people are sleeping in the Eastern Standard Time, um, but I'm in Europe, so I just woke up not too long ago. We're playing some some prison today, and um, yeah, I need to get some crypto sold so I can actually... Um, I want to be able to buy copper if, if people want to sell me it, so very important. Um, buying copper mall 15. <clears throat> but um, yeah guys, we are back playing some prison today. I figured out the frames issue a little bit. I'm not going to lie. If we uh, turn this down to two, um, it's I had some resource packs in my... Uh, like resource pack thing and I just deleted them and I have gotten a lot more frames now I don't know why it is like that but we're gonna roll with it because I like having good frames having good frames is definitely something that I enjoy doing but guys 29 episodes isn't that crazy I think that's awesome uh, we stay consistent with the series we're, we're doing good we're at p3 we need 16 mil if I do slash rank cost p4 we need 16.352 mil. So, um, we have 537k right now. Um, yeah, we're, we just need a lot of money to, to rank up. Um, you know, we have 14 doves of copper right now, though. We missed a 1.3 yesterday because I just was not online. Was uh, probably doing some IRL stuff. I just was not online for it. So, yeah, we missed out on that. But that's okay because we're going to rebound and hopefully find another one at some point. But uh, I really am excited for um, today's episode because I'm just feeling good. We got my coffee next to me right here. Uh, things are good, guys. We have... Uh, Coffee's a little cold, though, I'm not going to lie. Might have to make another cup here at some point. But, um, yeah, guys, things are good. We're doing good. We just upgraded the gang to 10 members. It cost 500 k of legal money to do that, uh, and we, we did it. It was really cool to see that, uh, really cool to hit that, because if we look at our gang right now, we have me, Ty, Craze Gunner, Norwegian, Toe, Satan, Rank Tech, uh, Lemons Beast and Jafco. Now Jafco just got banned for an IRL deal that he did. Uh, so he is probably going to go uh, because, you know, if he's banned, there's no point in having him in the gang. But uh, yeah, he did like an illegal IRL deal. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys who watch the, vi the videos know what happened. Uh, if you don't know what happened, basically he just went against the terms of service against the server and uh, he broke the rules basically. And uh, he appealed it and we'll see if he wins the appeal, but it does not look promising for him. So uh, with that being said, we have nine members currently, but if we get rid of Jafco, that'll be eight members. Um, we have a few slots that we're trying to fill, um, and I think by the time this video is released, we'll have them filled, so there's no point in uh, really talking too much about it, but uh, we got, me and my gang have some ideas of who we want to fill those slots, but uh, yeah, it's been really cool to see the growth of the gang in just two weeks' time, so that's, that's really cool. Really happy to see the growth, and um, yeah, we're, we're currently reputation level 8, so once we hit reputation level 10, uh, for my personal rep level, um, I'll be able to grow glucose seeds. We have quite a few glucose seeds. We don't have much flour though, so that's kind of a problem. But uh, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there for sure. But um, yeah, one thing I'm thinking about doing is giving each of the members in the gang a contraband book so that they can contribute contraband to the gang because we do need contra to unlock a gang chest that's very important because the gang chest will allow us to be able to share items sharing items will allow us to just have more fluidity when it comes to uh, transferring items and just being able to uh, exchange with each other so uh, that's the next goal because we have 10 members now uh, or 10 member slots i should say and um, that's good. It's good to have those slots, but we do need to focus on the next thing with our Contra. And um, yeah, so that's just a little update there. I've been mining more recently than I have been fishing. I've kind of gotten bored of fishing. 
Um, fishing is kind of like, eh, it's getting, it's getting old for sure. It's definitely a good change of pace from mining when I get bored of mining. So it is good to have a good fishing rod and stuff like that. So that is the good news there. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all the updates I have for you guys for now. I'm sure we'll find more things to talk about as well. But yeah, that was kind of a lot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed those updates. We're just mining today. You know, we're having a good time. Um, I have an exam in two days. So after this video, I got some studying to do. Have some assignments to work on as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let me... Okay, there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm finishing up my study abroad here uh, in Europe. Um, it's coming to a close. I have, uh, basically when this video comes out, actually, I'll be done with exams. So I'm really excited for that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking promising. Re really excited to move on to the next chapter of my life after this study abroad experience. It's one of those things where it's like, I'm so glad I did this study abroad experience, but it's something I will never do again. Um, it's one of those things, like, I really enjoyed my time, but yeah, I'm good. I don't need to do that again. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of how I look at it. But God has blessed me with so many opportunities here. Uh, just in Europe, just being able to travel, being able to um, just see the world a bit more. And especially while I'm young, too, and I can really, uh, you know, make the most of it and, uh, you know, move you know, better, obviously, than if I'm older and traveling, it's, it's harder to move, like, physically, and, um, yeah, I'm just really grateful for the opportunities that God has blessed me with, I'm just really, really uh, encouraged by what God is doing in my life, and uh, how he's, um, it's just some beautiful work that he's doing, uh, his plan is amazing, and I'm so grateful to um, to know God, and uh, I'm just really encouraged by what he's doing in my life, and just so, so grateful, so hopefully that can encourage you guys in some way, shape, or form. Like I said in previous episodes, guys, I'm not uh, afraid to talk about my faith in Jesus Christ. It's very, it's, it's the most important thing in my life, so, you know, it's, uh, it's something, if you watch my videos, it's important for you guys to know that, because, uh, it's literally the most important thing for me. And it's like, you know, like this game, for example, I have fun playing this game. It's cool. I like making videos. We've made now 29 videos on this game. Um, and that's great. That's awesome. I'm having fun doing it. I'm able to do a podcast sort of feel for this type of video content. And it's cool. And uh, I think it's important that I share with you guys, you know, the real me. Uh, and you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Um, and Jesus Christ is the most important uh, relationship I will ever have on this earth. And um, I encourage you guys, if you are not a believer in Christ, I encourage you to explore it more and just do some more research into Christianity and, and see what it's all about. Um, if, if I had one thing to tell you guys, um, I highly encourage you to just explore Christianity more and just give it give it an open heart you know just give it an open mind keep an open mind when it comes to christianity because it will truly change your life um and yeah that's uh that's kind of my words of encouragement for you today i hope uh even if it just makes an impact on one person uh, you know that's that's awesome. And if it doesn't make an impact on anybody, I just wanted to share with you guys what's going on in my life and what's important in my life. So, yeah, it's, it's been really cool. Um, this study abroad experience and just seeing the way that God has guided me over here. So, yeah, I know that was kind of um, not related to the gameplay, but it's important to me. And I hope you guys appreciate and respect that. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, we're just mining today, and uh, we're just playing the game, and having things to talk about is definitely very cool. Definitely, um, it, you know, talking about God and Jesus is one of the most fun things I enjoy talking about. And, yeah, so, just super encouraged, guys. Very uplifted on this fine Wednesday morning. And, um... Yeah. So, but guys, once again, I really do appreciate all of you who support this series and who make this possible. I mean, I, I do get like 40 views per video on this series consistently, and it's really cool to see. I didn't think I would get 
any views on these videos, honestly, because, um, like, for real, I just did not think anyone would want to watch this type of content. But uh, it's been really cool, really encouraging to see people interested in the podcast style videos in the way I do these videos where I just press record, record for like 20 to 40 minutes. And I just, I stop the recording and I upload it to YouTube. I do a few, few metadata stuff with YouTube, just making sure the, the tags are good and stuff like that. It takes like five minutes per video to actually upload it um, and get all the behind the scenes stuff figured out. I put ads on these videos because, um, you know, I think monetization on YouTube is cool. You know, I, I think making a little money for my efforts is, is definitely understandable. And I think, you know, if you guys watch my ads and stuff like that, I really appreciate it. You guys, I really appreciate, um, you know, I, I've seen a little spike in revenue uh, from YouTube. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm just being very open about it. Like, we're making about 25 bucks per month from YouTube now. Obviously, it's, you know, that's that equates to 300 bucks a year. And obviously, like, that's nowhere near, uh, you know, enough to sustain a <laughs> full-time income, obviously. But uh, that's not my goal. That's not my goal. At, at one time, it was my goal, but it's not my goal anymore. Uh, my goals have, have significantly changed ever since um, I've really given my life to Christ and started living for Christ instead of just simply believing I've taken it a step further and, and I've really been applying the principles of Christianity to my life and uh, you know being a full-time youtuber or content creator it's just not for me uh, definitely not for me I'm, I'm too impatient of a person to to uh, to do the content creation full-time I yeah, honestly, I am the type of person that needs a nine to five job in my life. It gives me structure. It gives me the opportunity to just have balance in my life, work life balance. And a nine to five is something that I'm wired to do. Like I'm, I'm actually wired to, to uh, not work from home. Like I, I need to be in the office. I need to go somewhere to work. It's actually like what God created me to do for my work. Uh, and it's really, really cool because, um, yeah, I mean, I've tried doing YouTube full time. I, I've tried, you know, when I say full time, like, you know, I'm, I'm in school right now and I, there's definitely times where it's like, I have time to try and give YouTube a shot. I've tried doing so many things, guys. I've tried Amazon FBA. I've tried starting a, a lawn care company. I've tried ghostwriting. I've tried copywriting. I've tried so many different things that are not. Um, a nine to five style and none of those were really for me and honestly the most relatable thing I can say is that the nine to five brings me the most balance in my life it brings me the most joy when it comes to my work-life balance it's actually really cool to see because I used to despise the nine to five concept um, you know even throughout college uh, there's been times where I've been like man like I'm getting this degree am I actually gonna use this degree I don't really want a nine to five but man, God's plan is so amazing to see that the nine to five is something that I'm really excited about. When I get back home from studying abroad, when I get back to the United States, I'll be able to just simply work and I'll be able to you know, make a few videos on the side, not as often as I am right now. Right now I'm uploading every other day. Um, which is doable, um, you know, for my current schedule. But when I, you know, start to work 40 hours a week and I, you know, the study abroad experience has given me a new appreciation for uh, my church community, for just the people in my life in general, just not being able to see them for five months. It's been, you know, it's, it's almost been five months now. And it's like, you know, we're at the end of the rope with it. And I'm just so excited to see my folks again. And I'm so excited to, to go back to my, my church back home. I'm so excited to just get back to and see the people that have, have brought me so much joy in my life. And guys, it's just really cool because I'm sharing I'm sharing all this with you because it's it's stuff that I'm passionate about. It's stuff that really matters to me. And obviously like I'm just mining in the background and I think it's a great opportunity for me to just encourage you guys and just to share my thoughts. Um, on this topic because it's just really cool really really cool stuff and man it's just i feel prompted by god to, to share with this stuff with you guys because um, it can really change somebody's life 
and perspective on the nine to five. Um, you know, our culture today makes it seem like a nine to five is like just bad and that it, it rots away our time. And it's just like, you know, we're working for somebody else. And it's like, in reality, there's so many benefits to a nine to five. Like, for example, at my job, like after you go home from work, you don't have to worry about any outside work away from work. Like once you're out of work, like you don't, you don't have to worry um, about anything work related outside of work. And that's really cool. It's like when you're home, you can worry about other things. And I'm honestly so excited for my, for my future guys. I'm really excited for it. It's, um, I'm just so excited just for my future. I, I, I can see, I can see God shaping, um, my life. Uh, I can see him preparing me for my future. And I know for a lot of you, or for some of you at least, it, you know, who aren't believers, you might be wondering, well, how are you so confident in God's plan for yourself? And um, guys, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing, putting my trust in God. You know, and if you, if you can, you know, I highly encourage you to lean into God's guidance, guys. I highly encourage you because leaning into what God's plan is for you, 100% of the time, God's plan is better than the plan that you have for yourself. And I can say that from personal experience because it has been 100% true in my life. There's been things that I thought I wanted in my life that simply were things that I didn't actually want. They were things that I thought I wanted, but when I actually got a glimpse of what it would be like or taste like, um, no, like it's just actually not what I wanted in my life. And that could be about anything when it comes to you know work, hobbies, um, the people that I thought I wanted to hang out with. Uh, it could be you know, correlated to so many different things. But in reality, God has a plan for me and leaning into God's guidance and just literally telling God like in prayer, uh, I pray to God saying, hey God, um, I there are things that I want in my life but I would rather have the things that you want for me in my life. And it's like so cool to, to tell God that because there's a certain aspect where, where God, you know, God wants to hear what you want in your life. And it's like weird because it's like, there are things that I want in my life, but at the same time, I want what God wants for me more. And that's really cool because God hears that. And and it's like one of those things where it's like, say I wanted a new car, for example. This is just an example, but say I wanted a new car. By the way, I'm not into cars at all. Like I just, I'm not a car guy. But say I wanted a new BMW, all right? So for example, if it's like, if I tell God, hey God, I really like BMWs. I, I really think it'd be a great car for me. I really like the way, um, you know, that a BMW presents itself. But at the same time, uh, even though I want a BMW in my life, Lord, I am uh, very content with the current car I have, and any car that you provide me with is going to be enough. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, God, that uh, a BMW is what I want, but at the same time, I want what you want for me more than that BMW. So if a BMW is not in your plan for me, God, I don't want the BMW. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, that, that's kind of like the structure I would, I would pray to God about because it's, it's, it's interesting because God wants to know what you want, but ultimately God knows what's best for you. And it's like so interesting because there's things that we want in our lives, but if you can learn to want what God wants for you more than what you want for yourself, man, it is going to be an amazing experience, an amazing feeling to just see God provide for you. And I cannot emphasize enough that God's plan is so much greater than any plans you could ever plan for yourself. And honestly, when I started recording this video today, I, I didn't realize I was going to be talking about so much stuff related to God in this video. I, I really just hit record and I was like, dude, let's go. Let's start talking about some stuff related to Minecraft. And it has not been about Minecraft today. I mean, it was in the beginning, but we're, we're talking about some really deep topics here. And uh, it's, it's some really cool topics. Uh, you know, and one, one thing, this leads me to my next thing. Um, that I want to talk about 
Um, by the way, this is not planned or anything. I, I'm just continually prompted by God to continue the conversation in the direction that I that God wants it to go in because I'm fully leaning into what God is prompting me to say in this in this video. But when it comes to um, wow, I literally just had a a brain fart. I, I don't even know what I was. I, I knew what I was going to say, and then I just lost it. Let's see. I was talking about. God's guidance, and then I was talking. Wow, I just completely lost my train of thought. It's interesting. It might come back to me. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, man, I, I, it was it was some pure gold too. Man, that's that's unfortunate. I, I wanted to share my thoughts, but um, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I can talk about something else. Um. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, when I started recording this, I, I didn't realize that God was going to guide me in so many aspects of this conversation, but I truly think there's going to be someone on the other end of this video. There's going to be someone listening to this video. You know, they, the person who is watching or the people that are watching, you know, expected something related to Trapped MC, and I, I'm playing Trapped MC in the, in the background right now. But at the end of the day, I'm talking about topics that are greater than this Minecraft server. I'm talking about topics that truly matter, that eternally matter. Um, Trapped MC is, is a really fun thing. It, it, for me, I find myself to have been playing a little bit too much of Trapped MC. And for me, it's kind of been an idol in my life. It's been something where it's been actually taking up too much time and it's been impacting my relationship with God in the sense that instead of spending time with God sometimes I choose to spend time with you know the video game with, with Trapped MC and it's interesting because when you prioritize something over God it's idolatry and it's it, idolatry is a sin you know and you know it's really interesting because even during the times where, you know, we, I, we idolize certain things or certain people in our lives, when we, when we idolize stuff or things or places or people or whatever we prioritize over God's presence, over God's uh, time, like over just spending time with God, if you prioritize something over that, um, you know, when when you do something that's impacting or impeding the relationship or the opportunity to grow in your relationship with God. I mean, that's, that's idolatry. And it's like, you know, we're all guilty of it. It's just, it's tough. We live in a broken world. We are broken people in a broken world. And it's like, it's so comforting knowing that we have a merciful God. We have a, a God who is so loving and so merciful that even though all of us, every single one of us who idolize stuff, on a daily basis, stuff, people, places, things, whatever, whatever it may be, God is so patient with us. God is so merciful in the sense that even though we choose to live separate from him at times, when we sin, we are actively choosing to separate ourselves from God. Um, God is so merciful that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross he died on the cross for our sins. He lived a perfect life, and yet he is the one who died on the cross. He didn't deserve that death, but he died on the cross in our place. We are all the ones that deserved to die on that cross, but yet we don't have to do that. We are not in a position where we have to die on the cross because we have Jesus Christ who did that for us. And some of you might be like, okay, what is the impact of him dying on the cross? Well, the impact, the, the, the true special sauce of the story is the resurrection. On the third day, on the third day after Jesus was declared dead on the cross, on the third day, he rose from the dead. He rose and he appeared to hundreds of people over the course of, I believe, 40 days. And it's really interesting because to be dead, like Jesus was dead, but then he 
rose from the dead. That's what gives the credibility to the gospel, the good news. That's what gospel means, good news. The good news is that Jesus rose from the dead, which gives credibility to his entire story. If he didn't rise from the dead, he wouldn't have that credibility. But it's living proof that Jesus rose from the dead. And that gives the proof to what Jesus said throughout his lifetime. I believe Jesus lived for 33 years. I believe it was 33. I'm not sure. But I think it was. And over the course of that time, Jesus lived a perfect life. And it's just a beautiful story. And the credibility is that Jesus rose from the dead. And it's really cool that I'm saying this and that I'm talking about this because I did not expect to be talking about this, but I think it's the most important thing that we can possibly ever hear about, the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. It is the most important thing that we can ever hear about on this earth. That's what I believe. I have faith in the gospel. I have faith in the good news, and I believe the good news. And I'm sharing it with you guys today because I know there's going to be an audience. I know there's going to be like a few dozen people who hear this message. And it's something you may have heard before. It's something that you might be hearing for the thousandth time. But it's also something that you might be hearing for the first time. And it's so beautiful because I am so bad at speaking. I am so bad at, I am so bad at just putting words in coherent sentences and giving impact to those words and you might be sitting here thinking well i think you're doing a pretty darn good job at telling this this beautiful story or this story in general and it's like it's not me who's telling this story it is god who is telling this story through me i'm the one actually saying the words but it is god who is prompting me and giving me the strength and the ability to do those things and man this is just a i'm literally like tearing up right now because this is such a beautiful beautiful video i will be uploading this to youtube and it will be titled something about trapped mc episode 29 but within trapped mc episode 29 of season three whatever the title is this video contains some dense some dense and important information and this is a video that i want to look back on because this is such a beautiful beautiful video that i want to save i want to be able to listen to this five ten twenty years from now 50 years from now i want to be able to hear myself say this while i'm 21 years old wow guys this is this has gotten deep you know and it's like wow who knew that within trap them see episode 29 of season three that there would be some gems that i that i consider gems i mean it's just it's a beautiful privilege to be able to openly discuss this topic and just upload it to youtube it's literally the most important thing in my life and i'm proud to say that i am a christian i am a child of god and that i am here to serve god and um, man it's just a beautiful thing with that being said guys i'm going to end the video here i think i've said what i needed to say and guys, I look forward to episode 30 of this series, but more importantly, I look forward to the response of this video. I look forward to the impact that this video may make on somebody or some people. Um, leave a comment if you made it this far. Uh, leave, leave a comment anyway. Um, share your thoughts. Um, I, I hope this video serves as a discussion point, as a way to just talk and, and and think about Jesus, and uh, yeah, I, I don't think I need to say any more. I think I've made myself pretty clear. And um, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. Be safe out there. And uh, man, I'm just I'm really encouraged. So yeah. With that being said, I'm going to stop the recording now, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. With that being said. Um, yeah, be safe and take care.